Jeffrey is having a hard time giving a breakup. He just broke up with his girlfriend. Jeffrey is sad, is now sad and depressed and lonely. He is constantly texting his ex. He is just really at an emotional state. He's making fun of his... He's to the point where he's making fun of his girlfriend for not having a job yet and taking on things for his girlfriend. He is very emotional, uncontrollable, and sad. Because deep down inside, he is sad, lonely, depressed. So he listens to a bunch of sad music. He listens to a bunch of negative music that really make him even more emotional, make him even more sad. He jerks off because he's just so sad. He eats as much junk food as he wants because he's lonely, he's depressed, and he just wants something to fill in. He becomes really suicidal until a man picks him up. Adonis! Adonis uh, broke up with his girlfriend too, but he told Jeffrey, this is not the right way to handle a breakup. Because Adonis felt the same way. He felt sad, lonely, and depressed. But he did not eat junk food. He did not listen to sad music. He did not make... He did not jerk off in the bathroom. Instead, he grinded in the gym. He worked hard, especially if you like it. He took all the negative feeling to double his income, to double his muscle mass, to double his size and height. You see, I experienced breakup too. Now, technically, I never dated dated someone, even though my friends said I have. <laughs> Both of my friends said I have, technically. But technically, I did never date a date someone. <sighs> this is during the summer 2021. Now, the pandemic is still sort of going on, and we still had to sort of wear masks. Sort of. <sighs> I, it was summer of 2020, either 20, it was summer of 2020, 2021, sorry. We were, me and my family were traveling to Chicago, we were vacationing to Chicago. I met up with one of the family's friends and my mom and dad's friends and they have a daughter and I always wear a hoodie there during this time because I was always depressed and lonely. I always wore hoodies during this time because I was ashamed of how I looked and how I felt. And I always thought hoodies were cool too, but now I don't wear hoodies anymore. But anyways, <clears throat> I fell in love with this girl and after that I met up with her and I realized after I met up with her I fell in love with her so I became sad depressed because I knew I live in a different state so I spammed her a bunch of texts for weeks I feel bad for her and eventually I exploded emotionally telling her oh I like you and I wish you would work out and basically I was being a simp and I became very sad and depressed. I did this once again, once I went to my new school. And I fell in love with the girl because she gave me a note saying, I liked your smile, smile face, or something like that. At this point, I was really desperate and she wasn't even that good looking. Didn't meet my present standards and at all. And she, I became really desperate for her and I bought her tons of gifts, probably over $60 worth of gifts, Spotify gift cards and a bunch of things. I listened to notice like her saying, oh, I wish I had Spotify premium. Oh, it wasn't Spotify premium, sorry. It was Hulu. Oh, I wish I had Hulu. And then I bought her Hulu gift card. You mean I was so simpish. I would buy things. I remember her birthday and buy stuff for her birthday, which is okay, I guess, but is very simpish and I buy her gifts like sometimes just randomly Christmas gifts and birthday gifts but like 
you know, we were that close to friends. Or try to be close to friends at the time. And I would always ask her questions and I just knew she wasn't the one for me. So I So we ended things and I became really lonely, depressed, and suicidal. And that breakup really broke me, I became really mad, I became sad, depressed. I jerked off all the time, listened to much sad music. I had a plan on how to do it, how to end myself. And I was really low at this time. I listened to so much sad music. It was sad. It was sad that I was sad. And then I fell in love with this girl, another girl, last time. She had similarities that I had and she actually liked me. This is actually one of the, this is out of all the girls, she was actually the one that actually liked me. And I thought she was the one for me because she liked me back and she liked what I liked and we enjoyed hanging out with each other. Later to learn, we had very separating views on Christianity, on, you know, society, abortion, and just life in general, how to live life. I continued to talk to her, and I was this close to dating her, and my friend would even consider that dating her, but technically, I didn't date her technically. I was really emotional with her, too. I, op like, opened up way too often, just spilled so much, like, you know, I spilled so much seed too, but like, I was so emotional. And I remember, eventually I found self-improvement, which I realized she wasn't there for me. She wasn't, she didn't have some reviews on the goals as I did, and some motives. I ended up breaking things off of her, and this was hard, because this is the person I was most attached with, but I knew she was holding me back from my goals and my potential. So I had to end it. And I just, she made me, or when I was with her, I was really lonely and depressed too. So I knew it was good for me to end things with her. I started working out a bunch and just, I focused on my goals. And this time I was actually kind of happy ending things with her. And I actually ended my depression. I ended my loneliness after ending things. And I had a glow up moment and came more stronger. And like this is the most muscular I've ever been. It's the most fit I've ever been. I've completely glowed up. I did, you know, I did a 180 um, to who I was. And don't watch anime anymore. I don't play video games anymore. I don't waste my time or try not to as much as, much as possible. But I didn't go to the similar routine of me listening to sad music. I became motivated and used that negative energy to become the best version of myself for right now. Obviously, I haven't, you know, reached, you can't truly become the best version of yourself. You can always become better and always work on things. But I was, I'm now goal driven and com goal accomplishing. What not to do. So after you break up with someone, do not listen to sad music. That is a really big thing. Do not listen to sad music because that will make you only more lonely or more sad, more depressed, more suicidal. That, in my opinion, is one of society's biggest problems because, like, there's... Some of the most popular music is sad music and that only just drains the energy and life force out of you. It drains... It makes you more sad. It makes you want to jerk off. It's just so bad for you. Don't jerk off either when you're lonely. When you, after you break up, do not jerk off, do not play video games, do not overindulge in habits you should not be doing. You shouldn't be overindulging in video games, junk food, TikTok, social media. Instead, you should hang out with your friends. I rec highly recommend hanging out with your friends because when you hang out with your friends, you will not feel so lonely and you'll have more fun. And... Or make some new friends, because she may be in the same friend group as you, so it'd be awkward if you, you know, hang out in the same friend group. So, make new friends, go out there, get out there, and, you know, make new friends, and, you know, do what you need to do. Hi another thing I really highly recommend is going to the gym. 
Now, sometimes I couldn't hang out with my friends after I ended things with her, so I had to go to the gym instead, which is the gym, if you don't have a gym membership, then I highly recommend either getting to calisthenics or build your own home gym and just all you need is like a bench, some dumbbells, like 20 pound, 25, 30 pound dumbbells, and maybe a dory pole bar, that's it. You can really work with that. Highly recommend getting those things. And just start working out, you know, start, you know, becoming the best for yourself, become more fit. And there's this quote from someone I highly recommend you listen to. Don't drink poison, gentlemen, just because you're thirsty by masculine theory. And this woman is poison. Or whoever, don't become desperate, pretty much, for just another woman. Drink the finest water. Drink the finest like focus on your goals during this time use this to focus on your goals and purpose use this to double your income use this to become the most muscular you can be use this to strive towards your goals use this time and energy this negative energy and form it to positive energy david goggins is really big on you know taking negative energy and converting it to positive energy and using it to boost yourself in life just stay focused on your goals and just use that negative energy that hate that mad you may feel hate mad you may feel sad that loneliness bench you know work hard go for a run get out that negative emotions and stay focused on your goals and purpose when you're just going through this use this time just to really work on yourself i highly recommend journaling and meditating well doing this too because if you journal and meditate when you get out your feelings and emotions that allows you to vent to like out on a piece of paper now it may be hard to vent on a piece of paper but i highly recommend it and just, it really just creates this mental clarity and maybe you realize man breaking up with this person was a good thing because it allows me to accomplish my goals and just stay goal focused and meditating will just help you with presence and help you just with mental clarity and presence and meditation will just bring peace in your life just meditate 10 minutes in the morning could help i'll link Hums's videos down in the description on meditation and i just highly recommend just following just along just breathe in breathe out you know what i mean simple as that but that just really clears your mind it really helps you stay focused and your goals and achieving things and helps you stop being lazy i also highly recommend reading the bible and going to church Reading the Bible really helps you stay grounded and really just helps you stay, helps you know the difference between right and wrong. Because if the Bible isn't like, you know, everything in the Bible is real, all the laws can be changed, right? If all the laws can be changed, then there's no such thing as justice. There's no such thing as right and wrong because the laws are just made up by people. But if the Bible is real, then God has commanded us this is god's law god is real i guarantee you that and going to church really helps you make new friends builds a safe environment and it helps you find more traditional women you find more feminine women and more traditional women trad women <laughs> i've seen that like all over tiktok trad women <laughs> traditional women it helps you find traditional women and just Helps you stay grounded, helps you make new friends, helps create a safe environment. And Jesus is here for you. Jesus wants you to go to him. He wants you. Guys, he loves you. He's here for you and cares for you. Remember to do the hard work, especially if you feel like it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.